Hello and welcome. Today I will be going over the Romanian Patriotic Guards, which were acted during the Socialist Era. Um, I know you may be able to hear that I'm currently using a headset, so third video I'm using different kind of recording equipment. Hopefully it will improve in the future. Um, so yeah, today I will be looking at uh, the Patriotic Guards. I would just like to say, uh, before we start, I'm not an expert on it. and I will be using sources from the internet, um, whose original sources I cannot verify. So if there are any uh, mistakes that I make, please uh, write them in the comments. Thank you. Any images that are used in this video are not my own. Um, I do not portray them to be my own, and I will give their original source within the description of this video. So this information will be coming from a page on the Library of Congress's website. It's quite old, it appears. Um, I doesn't list any specific book sources, so I will just be going off this page. Um, so for the Patriot Guards, they were founded in 1968 after Ceausescu held a, a speech against the Soviet intervention in Czechoslovakia. Um, by 1989, um, it was made up of uh, one tank of three mechanised rifle divisions, which were held at between 50 to 75% of their wartime strength. Four motorised rifle divisions were kept at less than 50% of their complete readiness. Uh, Romania also relied heavily upon large uh, military and paramilitary reserves which could be equipped and trained um, at a lower cost than regular forces and could mobilize uh, rapidly um, in case of war. Uh, also in 1989 approximately 4.5 million men or around 20% of the country's total uh, population were in the military reserve. Um, service age grew between 18 to 50 years old. More than 550,000 of those um, served on active duty in the armed forces um, during the previous five years. The Patriotic Guards worked closely with the Ministry of National Defence, uh, but were directly subordinate to the PCR, or the Partido Comunista Roman, the Romanian Communist Party. Um, in this way, the Patriotic Guards served as a potential counterweight um, to the power and influence of the regular armed forces. In wartime, they had a responsibility for local anti-aircraft defence, providing early warning um, of um, an air attack, defending population centres um, and important elements of national infrastructure, um, conducting civil engineering works um, as needed to re-establish uh, essential military uh, production after an attack, for example. They would reconnoitre and attack enemy flanks and rear areas. Combat airborne units uh, or special forces uh, penetrating deep into Romanian heartland and mount resistance operations against occupying uh, forces. In keeping with their guerrilla image, the Pitbull Guards wore plain uniforms with no ranks um, of insignia um, or badges of rank. Although this is in contrast to a document I have found on the Romanian government's website, um, just let me pull it up. So, in this document, um, which is dated September 23rd, uh, 1968, so this is around the time of its initial creation, uh, firstly, the images of potential uniforms they use um, show the insignia, uh, the shield, hidden the gods, on the left arm, even though later on in the document it does refer to it being um, on the uh, right arm. And also in this, it actually um, lists and depicts possible um, images of what the great insignia would look like. Um, I do not have any information of why they did not go through with this, but um, I will be showing it on the screen now. So it is a red triangle uh, with a base of 50 millimeters, a height of 45 millimeters, and it goes over the various stripe combinations and uh, what that would mean. So it's quite interesting to say that during its year of creation, they had originally intended for these um, ranks, it appears, as there are no images of these actually being in the field, and clearly this must have been dropped um, when the uh, official um, organisation went um, into active duty. So, if we are to start with the footwear of the Bitter Red Guards, um, they were not issued a standard uh, boot. Um, they were to use their own uh, civilian footwear um, in the regulations. It says for parades, preferably uh, being brown. 
Um, but in this photo, uh, you can see they are wearing the actual uh, Mountaineers boot um, and using uh, correspondence that I had uh, with someone who lived through the Socialist era. The Patriotic Guards were allowed to privately purchase, and some units did, as we've seen here, the Mountaineers boot, um, which also included wearing the white sock pulled over it and then uh, lapping over itself. But other than this, they were not, for example, issued the um, single strap boot or the double strap boot, um, which has been mentioned in previous videos. In regards to the belt, it was the standard Dominion Army thick uh, leather belt, um, yet the buckle did not have any kind of insignia or engravings and was a simple uh, just steel face. So, for the winter trousers of the Romanian Patriot Guards, at first they appear very similar to the uh, original kind of soldier there, but as you can see here, there is no bottom cuff to them, so you cannot um, fold the cuff under your foot so that it stays in place, and also that there is uh, no cutout, so um, the trousers no way tapered um, like the soldiers. We can see that the, uh, the size is a 52 one, um, so that would be around 34, 36 inch waist, and one um, signifying the uh, a longer leg for a taller person. For the winter jacket of the Romanian Patriot Guards, as you can see, it is single breasted and without shoulder boards, like the army version, with five buttons and two pockets. Also with an interior pocket, with the size being a 54.3, so that is a large to extra large and the shorter arms for a shorter person. It also has the shoulder shield, which we would see up close, machine stitched, For their berry, I do not believe that they were issued with a standard helmet, although there is one photo as can be seen with the uh, Yushanka. So for the berry, um, as you can see there is an emblem with a kind of felt backing, and the berry itself, the material is of a lighter tan, um, a lot lighter than the Mountaineers berry. Here is a simple comparison between the two berries. On the left is the Mountain Hunters with the dark green backing, and on the right is the Patriot Regards. We can see that their inside labels are slightly different, with the Patriot Regards having a more simple one. The inside uh, lining of the uh, faux leather is pretty much identical between the two. And a closer up, uh, closer picture of the um, insignia, we can see that the Patriot Regards are slightly smaller, for red backing opposed to the uh, dark green backing. Also their colours, the Mountain Hunters one is a more standard um, army green light, um, with the Patriotic Guards having a more sandy tan colour, and then we can see a close up on the material. So for the shirt, summer shirt, there are two top breast pockets and a label on the top, which I have not been able to identify at this point. On the inside, there is a standard uh, pocket with the date, 1969, quite interesting. So this was manufactured just a year after its creation, with the size being a 54.2. So that's a, um, a large to extra large size across the chest, and a 2 for someone of average um, height. And here we can see, have a close look at the arm shield, which has been uh, a BS machine uh, stitched on. So for the second comparison, we'll be looking at the summer shirt of the army and the Imperial Rally Guards. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we can see that the colour is slightly different. The Imperial Guards is more of a sunny tan with dark brown buttons, while the buttons on the army uh, shirt uh, pretty much blend in. There are no shoulder boards on the Imperial Rally Guards, unlike the army shirt. There is a nice simple inside label here also, which is not present on Predator Guards. So you can find the label flat um, on the inside breast pocket. 
here is a close up of the buttons and of the material. So to run off the video, I have a few photos of myself in the uniform when it was snowing. Um, as I said, I'm not an expert in the subject, um, so if I've made any large errors, please tell me in the comments or contact me. I will make a, another video in the future on the weapons that they used, because there's quite a variety. And I hope everyone is having a Merry Christmas, and I hope everyone a Happy New Year. So yeah, thank you.